Today's challenge is all about stress, not the kind that breaks you, the kind that builds your memory under pressure. But let's face it, it's one thing to remember facts when you're relaxed, but can you recall them on command when the clock is ticking? Whether it's uh, an exam, an interview, a stage performance, or a life-saving decision, your brain has to perform under fire. So let's train it. As always, we start with a basic understanding of the science. Once you have that, you can manipulate a lot of these methods to do what you need them to anyway. When you're under pressure, your body releases cortisol and adrenaline. That can be a good thing. It sharpens focus and it boosts energy. But if you're not trained, the same stress can jam your recall. It's called retrieval inhibition. When your brain knows the information, but stress blocks access to. Studies show that people who train memory with time constraints and emotional tension, they are more resilient and outperform others in real world applications. Why? Because they develop autom automaticity. It's a struggle to say, which is which is essentially the ability to recall without conscious effort. So let's have a look at the timed recall. Here's the drill. Step one, choose a memory target. It could be a list of uh, 10 words, 20 digits, a speech, a paragraph, five names, pick a target. Step two, memorize it with any technique you've learned, the link system, imagery, the memory loop, anything. Step three, set a timer. Start small, maybe 60 seconds, then 30, then 10. Can you recall under pressure? The optional part of that is you can then begin to add distractions. You can play some music, you can change locations, you can have someone quit you. The goal is to build friction into your recall process, not to make it harder, but to make you stronger. Think of it as resistance training for your mind. That's one challenge. Here's another one. Pick a previous memory feat that you've done from this series, and then half the time you originally used to recall it. Add a mild distraction, like a, a background noise, or being timed in front of someone, then perform. The goal isn't perfection. It's adapting your memory to pressure so you don't freeze when it matters most. You're rewiring your brain to access information automatically, even when your heart's racing and the room is watching. Real memory mastery, it's not just about the things that you know. It's so much more than that. It's about what you can deliver when you need it to be delivered. That's the key. So train recall like it's a performance. Practice like the stakes are real so that when they are, you don't flinch.